Hello everybody, and welcome to 21st Century Woodworking. With me, your host, Dirk the Engineer. Okay everybody, uh, I've gotten the machine set up to do um, the jointer pass, and essentially all that you have to do to set your machine up, after you've got the grid set up, on your table with uh, with uh, some screw nuts or some uh, what do they call that threaded inserts um, in each of the holes. You can then take uh, any quarter. Well, I've got those are quarter twenty size, so I can take any quarter twenty size uh, bolt uh, like thing. Like I've got threaded rod here. I can use bolts too, but uh, uh, they go right down into the middle of each one of the grid points. And then I've just taken a two by four and drilled a hole in it and screwed it down. Uh, then to find and locate the piece, I just go roughly about where my, my first uh, row of holes is in that way, because I know that's three inches off. And then I can just take a square and make sure that it's touching the wood and the, the table, tighten it down, and I can go over here on this edge and do the same thing and tighten this one down, and hey, that's all, all that's required to set it up. The nice thing about this is if that if you set up, you're a little bit smart about how you set up your um, uh, pins in the table, I could just set up a row of pins or a couple pins to reference against to take this and put it over there, and then I could just swing this around this pivot point and I've got a clamp for doing the cutoff uh, as well. So um, <clears throat> I've already got this set up so that uh, the bit is zeroed here and of course my uh, system is zeroed where my limit switches are because that's what I had explained before. Um, let's just go in here uh, to the woodworking creator. Of course, I've got it set up on my x axis, over travel of one, safe Z of three and a half, which is something that I actually measured. Those bolt tops sit at about three inches, so I know I'm going to have at least a half an inch of clearance in any rapid moves. Um, the uh, Z axis, I'm, I'm want it to go down past the table by just a little bit so I don't have cleanup work to do. Uh, cut passes I'm going to do three since there's a, actually is a bow in that board that I want to take out. Um, I'm setting it right on the vector. Uh, then 1200 uh, for, for uh, spindle speed, uh, 100 uh, inches per minute. Um, then the final passes I'm going to do two. I'm going to move it into the piece a little bit. Um, uh, 24,000, I'm going to go full speed and half, um, half feed rate. Um, board measures 45 inches long. It's about 8 inches wide, quarter inch, or 3 quarters of an inch thick, and it's about 3 inches from that uh, table origin, the corner there. Um, again, the tool's just over a half an inch, a cutter length. Um, and stick out. And I've already saved this cheat code so you guys uh, can see that. Now, um, I'm just going to make this move to the machine home. Uh, puts it at the highest Z point and the uh, 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 limit switch homes. Okay, so I've got the setup G code. This should, if I run this, take it to the start of the final pass. So let's just go ahead and run that. Goes to safe Z height and moves over and then I'll put the bit down at the start of cut. And um, you can see that that's actually in the right position. All right, so I'm gonna load the other uh, G code that was created, the actual run. And here we go. All right, the spindle started, so that's good. It'll wait for five seconds so that I can have a chance to turn it off in case it didn't. And now it'll take the cut passes first. Okay, you can see it went part way down and took some of that thicker material off in the middle of the bow. Here, now it's going to make another pass. Okay, 
it just sped the spindle up. So it's getting ready to do the final pass. Final pass is, I should say. So it's full depth. Okay, turns it off, goes up to the safe Z height, and gets out of the way for you. So um, you can see, I even got some shine on the side there. It's pretty, pretty uh, smooth. Um, sometimes with maple, it just doesn't matter how you plane the stupid thing. It's going to leave little fuzzies on there. Um, I've even seen that with with uh, a regular woodworking joiner um, see like right there but they just uh, come right off with a little sandpaper so um, that's not so bad this is actually pretty good and the nice thing about this is that there are, is absolutely no snipe so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, leaving extra width on your board as you would when you're running it through a regular joiner so uh, pretty good it only took a a couple minutes to really set up and uh, run um, of course it took a little bit longer for me to show that on the video but um, uh, I probably actually didn't need to run three uh, uh, cut passes I probably could have gotten away with just one um, and let it shave that off and then come back and do the two final passes um, but uh, yeah it is gonna be uh, nice and dead straight it's gonna be as straight as your rails are um, so that's good. Um, now what you can see is before what I had done is kind of milled a little bit of the table away um, here so that when I reference my parts I know it's going to stick out just a hair. Um, and uh, I think that's going to do about 50 thousandths um, every time so you don't have to waste material either. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to probably do is uh, now run this through my my uh, bandsaw and cut it down to the final or close to the final width, and then put my pins in, flip it over, and uh, do my uh, cuts. So I will um, go ahead and get that done and um, show you guys what it looks like when you do the uh, vector cuts. All right, thanks.